Rolex Marshall. I am the basilisk of the Psi Sigma chapter of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated here in Kansas City, Missouri. Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority was founded on November 12, 1922 at the campus of Butler University in Indianapolis, Indiana. Our founders were seven African American school teachers. And our sorority supports women and their families and youth. And here in Science City Chapter, we tend to focus our efforts on supporting at-risk youth here in the Kansas City, Missouri um, metropolitan area. Today, we are celebrating sisterhood with our second annual Unity event. Um, it is a tea where women can show up and experience the bond of sisterhood and camaraderie fellowship with one another, reignite their passion for the sorority and for each other.
she had all these boxes of clothes for my son. And she played the part of a true sister. And so I think about Sigma Gamma Rho often. I, I don't just think about us being the best sorority or us having a greater service, greater progress. I really think about what it means for us to really be sisters. Mm -hmm. And so I'm thinking also about our soror that we had an Omega Rho service for. That was so hard. Even though I knew Deira had struggled for years with breast cancer, watching my soror pass away at such a young age, but again, our sisterhood was in that room, in that funeral home, as she laid in that casket. Mm -hmm. So I want us to remember three things today. When you think about playing the part of a true sister to your sorors, and look at, look at each other. Like, look at each other, for real. Really look at your sorors in this room. We all made the same oath. Yeah. We all made the same choice. And we all chose Sigma Gamma Rho for a reason. And so when we say we're going to play the part of a true sister, I want you to do three things. Say three things. Three things. The first thing I want you to do for your sower is support her. Is support her, the sister. Don't just show up at events, but know what's going on in her life. Actually call and talk to her. Don't just send a text. Don't just see her in passing, but support her. Yes. Find out what she's dealing with. Yes. Find out what's going on. Tony, Tony will call me and be like, you know what? I ain't talked to you in three months. What's wrong? <laughs> because that's my sister. Yes. And we have to do the same for each other. So I want to challenge you. This is this is a part of number one. I want to challenge you to connect with your soror outside of this tea. See her in the next two weeks, whether that's breakfast, lunch, dinner, happy hour, invite her to church. Connect with her. Find out what's going on with her. She believes in the same thing you believe in. The second thing I want you to do, y'all better be listening. It might be a little hard. <laughs> I will ace it. <laughs> all right, all right. So the second thing I want you to do is let her shine. Let her shine. When she's got something going on, be there. Yes. Show up. Yes. Shine the spotlight on her. Yes. Make sure she knows that you are really her sister and you are playing the true part of a sister. Yes. Because true sisters don't, they're not envious. No. They're not jealous. They're not hating. They are like, that's my soror, and I support her. So shine a light on her. Number three. Number three is this. In the name of Sandra Bland. Say her name. I watched that documentary, and I wept. Because there was so much going on at the time of Sandra's death. Yes. Even politically, there were so many people who were getting murdered by the police. And it's almost like Sandra just got swept in with a whole bunch of other stuff. Yes. Right. But when I watched that documentary, I got convicted. Because I didn't pay attention enough to what was going on. Yes. But I want us to remember to say our sorrow's name while she's living. Yes. And say her name in prayer. Yes. Speak her name to God. Yes. Call out to him. Yes. And when you think about your soror, ask him to bless her. Yes. Ask him to give her increase. Yes. Ask him to protect her and her kids and her husband and anything else that's connected to her. Yes. That's how we play the part of a true sister. So I'm not going to take any more time, but I want you all to know that it is our duty. We are bound forever. I don't care where you go, you can find a Sigma Gamma Rho. So God bless you all. I love you. And if there's anything that I can ever do to help you or assist you, please let me know. <laughs>
Delta Pi, Central Missouri State University. Uh, May 1975, Ada Chapter, Northwestern University of Evanston. All right, then. Dr. Stacey Yeager, life member number 640. Kansas, Kansas State University, fall 1995. <laughs> Uh, Luana Counts, April 1980, Alpha Rho Chapter, University of Missouri, Columbia. Oh. <laughs> Allie Roberson, Almighty Alpha Chapter, <laughs> Fall 1992. <laughs> Lisa Roberson, uh, Emporia State University, Fall of 1981. Is that my uh, fall 15, Debonair Delta Pi Chapter, oh, wow. um, <laughs> University of Central Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> fall 15. <laughs> uh, Janae Counts, Fall 2006, Delta Chapter, Xavier University of Louisiana. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I am Jamie Lovelace, uh, Spring 09, Central Region under Psi Sigma. Oh, <laughs> and this is my line sister. <laughs> <laughs> Nikita Allen, uh, Spring 09, Central Region Chapter. Mm -hmm. okay. May Hancock, Spring 1976, Northwest Missouri State University, Zeta Road Chapter. Right. <laughs> Maya Ruth Everett, Delta Pi Chapter. Spring 1995, Central Missouri State University. Oh, right. <laughs> Kiva Holmes, Lincoln University, Alpha Mu Chapter, Fall 2002. Okay. Right. Joyce Brown, 1983. I came under the guidance of Sarah Carr. Hey! Imani Lewis, I own his eight chapters, March 12th. Of 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela Brown, I Z. I Z. Cherise Shelton, Spring Line, April 22nd, 1975, Ada Ada Chapter, Western Illinois come on, University. Come on. Yeah. I need a chance to say my name, Pamela Ragland Glover. Oh, and <laughs> last week she received a very prestigious community award, and we're very proud of her. Yes. Yes.
she received a very prestigious community award, and we're very proud of her. Yes. Yes.